the top players in the NBA at their sophomore year. So at number one, you have LaMelo Ball, definitely the top player for his second year, in my opinion, for the Charlotte Hornets. Averaging 19.9 points per game, 6.6 .6 rebounds per game, and 7.6 assists per game. Honestly, I think he's going to make a John Morant leap next year and become an MVP candidate, I think, somewhere around there. And what do you think? I think the Hornets are like one missing piece away from being a very good title contending team. I think they'll get to the playoffs next year as a seed, but I think... This next year, they'll be a title contending team. Two on the sophomore list is Anthony Edwards, Minnesota Timberwolves. Him and Kat are honestly going to become a lethal deal in the next few years. He's scoring a lot of points and becoming very good this season. 21.1 points per game, 4.8 rebounds per game, and 3.8 assists per game. Honestly, a great year from him. You could either have him or LaMelo at number one. Personally, I think they're both tied for number one in general. I feel like... A lot of people sleep on Anthony Edwards a lot, but last night he actually put up 49 points. A definitely great performance from him, and he's just showing he's one of the best players in this league. Three on the sophomore list is Tyrese Halliburton, Indiana Pacers, 15.2 points per game, 4.1 rebounds per game, and 8.1 assists per game. Honestly, I think the Kings shouldn't have traded him at all. Definitely a good pickup for the Pacers, and I think the Pacers are just going to keep improving. They're, they, they're going to get a decent pick this year. And I think they're going to be a lot better. Four on the sophomore list is Desmond Bain for the Memphis Grizzlies. 18.3 points per game, 4.5 4 rebounds per game, and 2.8 assists per game. Honestly, a great year from him. Honestly, very underrated. Probably one of the best three-point shooters in this class in general. I didn't expect him to average 18 points per game. I thought he was averaging around like 15 or 10, but he's definitely contributing a lot since John Morant's been out and probably one of the best players. Number five on the list is Tyrese Maxey, Philadelphia 76ers. 17.3 points per game, 3.3 rebounds per game, and 4.3 assists per game. Honestly, I think he has he's very underrated, and I think he should definitely be on here. I feel like scoring-wise, I feel like the main reason he isn't scoring as much is James Harden's playing, and I feel like in the next few years, he's probably going to be one of the best promising young stars. Uli Jokic is the only player in NBA history to put these numbers in a single season. 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, in 500 assists. Honestly, I'm surprised that LeBron never did this. I think the 1,000 rebounds he probably never got in one season. Honestly, this is very impressive, and he's the only player to ever do this. I'm surprised Will Chamberlain didn't do this, but Jokic is one of a kind. He's really a unicorn and the best passing big man in the league right now, and probably the best big man in the league. These are the only five players to have played in every single game this season. Denny, then you have Sadiq Bey, Malik Bridges, and... Kevin Looney, and then Dwight Powell. Honestly, these are the only players to play every game this season. I think Russell Westbrook is pretty close. I think he's played the most game for the Lakers, but I think overall. Honestly, a lot of these players have been big contributors to their team and overall role players. I feel like the best player on this list is definitely Malik 